Are you constantly wondering, why am I always out of money? Or do you earn well, but still find your bank account in the red? This video is your game changer. We're revealing eight key reasons why many remain trapped in poverty, regardless of their income. Stay tuned till the end to discover life-altering strategies to flip your financial script. But first, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, now's the time. And to our loyal subscribers, a huge thank you for your unwavering support. Let's jump right in. Ever puzzled over why poverty persists for some, while others seem to effortlessly thrive? A revealing study by National Public Radio, the Kaiser Family Foundation, and Harvard University's Kennedy School sheds light on this. It found that 48% attribute poverty to a lack of self-help, while 45% believe it's due to tough circumstances. Interestingly, this view is held by both the affluent and the poor themselves. Today's Americans face a plethora of financial challenges, from skyrocketing healthcare costs and taxes to burdensome college fees. For many, these hurdles create a sense of eternal financial struggle. While some are cornered by poor financial choices and systemic inequalities, there's a silver lining. Effective wealth-building strategies do exist. But first, you need to pinpoint the habits draining your bank account. And that's exactly what I'll cover in this video. Get ready to uncover the eight hidden traps keeping you in a perpetual cycle of poverty. Let's dive into these transformative insights. Number one, you do not save. Here's a startling fact. Bankrate's 2022 data reveals that a whopping 56% of Americans couldn't handle a $1,000 surprise expense from their savings. This highlights a critical issue, a significant lack of savings, leading many into a relentless cycle of debt and poverty. But here's the twist. You don't need a six-figure income to start saving. It's a common misconception that you need to earn big to save big. Saving is essential at every stage of life, regardless of your income level. What truly counts is the habit of saving, not the amount you stash away. This is all about setting priorities. If saving isn't high on your list, your bank balance won't grow, regardless of your income. Dreaming of a new car, a cozy home, or a worry-free retirement. These goals remain dreams without making saving a priority. Many fall into the trap of thinking small savings don't count. But here's the truth. Every little bit adds up. Consistently setting aside small amounts can lead to a substantial nest egg. Developing a savings habit isn't easy. It takes practice. But if you start saving a portion of each paycheck automatically, you'll likely stick to it. Remember, the sooner you start, the brighter your financial future. Number two, you do not set financial goals. Ask yourself, do I have a financial roadmap for the future? or am I just drifting along? The stark difference between those who navigate life with a plan and those who let life happen is profound. Lack of planning might not be the root cause of financial struggles, but it certainly can anchor you in them. Relying solely on luck to shift from poverty to prosperity is a risky gamble. Escaping financial hardship demands a well-crafted financial plan. This means setting concrete, realistic, short-term, and long-term financial goals. It's crucial to articulate what you aim to achieve daily, weekly, monthly, or even five years down the line. Visualizing your future and plotting a feasible route towards it not only provides direction, but also fuels your motivation to improve financially. So how does one craft a robust financial plan? Start by listing all your financial goals, both active and aspirational. Next, prioritize them based on their importance. Detail each goal, noting the timeline, required funds, and what you've already saved. This process clarifies what each goal demands and guides you in formulating a strategic plan to achieve them. If the idea of creating a financial plan seems daunting, consider consulting a financial planner. Alternatively, for the DIY enthusiasts, there's a wealth of knowledge in YouTube tutorials and online articles. Leverage these resources to your advantage and set sail 
towards a financially secure horizon. Number three, you always spend more than you earn. We've all heard the age-old advice, don't live beyond your means. Sounds simple, right? Yet, in practice, it's a challenging feat for many. Ever caught yourself anxiously counting days to your next payday? Not because of a savvy investment, but because you're nearly broke. This is a classic sign of living beyond what you can afford. In today's digital era, the ease of online shopping and the influence of social media have significantly impacted our spending habits. A recent survey revealed a staggering 57% of millennials make impulsive purchases influenced by social media trends. It's a clear indication of how powerful and persuasive these platforms can be in shaping our financial decisions. The allure of a glamorous lifestyle showcased online can be tempting. Seeing others flaunt the latest gadgets, luxury cars, or exotic vacations often triggers a desire to emulate that lifestyle. Consequently, many fall into the trap of spending beyond their means or accruing debt to experience similar luxuries. This lifestyle emulation can lead to a dangerous cycle of debt and financial instability. If this resonates with you, it's crucial to reassess your spending patterns. It's time to trim down your budget, eliminating non-essential expenses and focus on saving. Remember, true financial stability comes not from living a life for show, but from living within your means and building a secure financial future. Number four, you spend too much on housing. A common reason many find themselves perpetually broke is excessive spending on housing. If a substantial chunk of your paycheck is devoured by housing costs, your financial health is at risk. The generally accepted guideline for housing expenses is the 30% rule suggesting that no more than 30% of your pre-tax income should go towards housing. For example, if your monthly income is $3,200, your housing cost shouldn't exceed $960. However, this is a guideline, not an absolute rule, and may need adjustments based on your situation. In a low-income area, you shouldn't necessarily reject a $575 apartment just because it's only 18% of your income. Conversely, in high-cost areas like New York City or San Francisco, sticking to the 30% rule can be challenging with average rents soaring over $3,000 for a modest one-bedroom. If housing costs are straining your finances, it's time to explore alternatives. Consider relocating to a more affordable area or downsizing your living space. Another viable option is finding a roommate to share expenses. If you're finding value in this video, Please show your support with a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Thank you for your support. Number five, you do not budget. Budgeting stands as the cornerstone of personal finance management. Without a budget, staying financially afloat becomes a challenging task, often leading to a perpetual state of brokenness. Those who operate without a budget typically lose track of their monthly spending, a risky approach to handling finances. A well-structured budget sheds light on your monthly expenditure. It helps identify areas for cutbacks, reallocates funds more efficiently, tracks progress towards goals, and provides realistic timelines for achieving them. Avoiding budgeting often indicates a reluctance to confront poor spending habits, hindering financial improvement, Despite its evident benefits, a surprising number of Americans neglect regular budgeting. A recent survey found that 73% don't follow a consistent budget and 10% don't budget at all. Another alarming statistic reveals that 65% of Americans are clueless about their previous month's expenditures, with Generation Z being the least informed about their spending. To budget effectively, regular monitoring of expenses is key. It enlightens you about your spending patterns, enabling better future planning. Fortunately, tracking expenses has never been easier, thanks to a plethora of budgeting apps available for both smartphones and computers. Utilize these tools to gain control over your finances and steer clear of the paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. Number six, you are waiting for someone to save you. Relying on the notion that success hinges on others' intervention is a common trap. 
While networking and connections can indeed open doors, the belief that prosperity will come only through external help is a surefire path to perpetual poverty. Many harbor the idea that success lies in finding someone smarter, more experienced, or with secret knowledge. They hope to encounter a friend or relative who will unlock the secrets of wealth, or they follow gurus promising prosperity through mere visualization. But in today's world, waiting for someone else to chart your course to success is an outdated approach. The internet abounds with free resources, videos, courses, and tutorials, all designed to help you carve your own path. Believing that your breakthrough hinges on someone else's intervention will leave you stuck. The key is to step out of your comfort zone, embrace hard work, and take calculated risks. Learning new skills and facing the discomfort that comes with growth are essential. Waiting to stumble upon an easy path to success is a futile endeavor. Forge your own path and you'll be well on your way to breaking free from financial constraints. Number seven, you don't have an emergency fund. A foundational step in securing your financial future is establishing an emergency fund. This should be your priority even before considering retirement savings or debt repayment. An emergency fund acts as a financial safety net, protecting you from unforeseen circumstances. Imagine suddenly losing your job or facing an unexpected house repair or urgent travel. An emergency fund can cushion you in these scenarios, covering some or all of the expenses. This way, you avoid dipping into your savings or resorting to loans, thus maintaining financial stability. The peace of mind that comes with having a financial backup cannot be overstated. Often, people prioritize retirement savings over an emergency fund. And while saving for retirement is important, lacking an emergency reserve can backfire. When a significant expense arises, individuals may find themselves withdrawing from their retirement accounts a move fraught with drawbacks. Early withdrawals, especially from accounts like a 401k, often incur a 10% penalty, not to mention the setback to your retirement goals. Thus, building an emergency fund should be a top priority. It's not just about having savings, it's about creating a buffer against life's unexpected financial challenges, ensuring that your long-term savings plans remain intact. Number eight, you rely on one stream of income. The convenience of a single income source is undeniable, but it's also a precarious position. What if you lose that job, your business falters, or your salary is slashed? Solely depending on one income not only leaves you vulnerable to unexpected events, but also limits your financial growth. Diversifying your income streams accelerates your financial progress. Multiple sources of income offer a faster route to achieving your financial goals. It's a simple equation. More income sources equal more money, which translates to reaching your goals quicker. If you're struggling to make ends meet with your current salary, it's time to explore additional avenues for income. Consider launching a side hustle like blogging, vlogging, investing in stocks or real estate, or freelancing on platforms like Upwork, Behance, or Fiverr. There's wisdom in the adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Expanding your income sources provides a safety net, ensuring that if one stream falters, you're not left in financial ruin. If you're reliant on a single income and it dries up, the consequences can be severe and recovery a long road. Thank you for watching. Do you relate to any of the points discussed? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I'm eager to hear from you. Don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, have a fantastic day.